In today's video, I'm going to show you a free way to generate amazing looking pattern designs that you can use for print on demand. And at the end, I'll also give you some suggestions where you can sell these patterns to make passive income. If you're not signed up to Leonardo yet, then follow the link in the description to their homepage right here where you can create your account. You just have to enter your name and your email address and then you'll be put on a waiting list. I think you can also join their Discord server and you will get some tips in an email telling you how to be whitelisted more quickly. If you've already got an account, all you have to do is click yes, I'm whitelisted right here and it should open up your account with Leonardo. So here we are inside of Leonardo AI and a few tips to find pattern design prompts. First of all, where it says recent creations down here, you can just type in pattern and then hit enter. And that is going to show you a lot more pattern related designs. Not all of these are patterns, but for example, these butterflies right here and these flowers seem to be some interesting looking pattern designs. Once you see some that interest you, what I would recommend doing is actually liking them with this button right here that will save them into your personal feed where you can easily add access these patterns to sort of copy or use their prompts for inspiration. Once you're done with this, head over to the personal feed and select liked feed right here from the top. This is where I've got a lot of sort of sticker t-shirt design graphics as well as different pattern designs. So if you scroll down a bit, some of these actually look really amazing. For example, this Halloween one, you will find that some of the better looking ones, unfortunately, have alchemy enabled and alchemy is a new feature that gives you more sort of detailed high quality results with Leonardo. However, it's not part of the free plan anymore. So that is one downside, but you can still generate some pretty decent looking patterns without alchemy. If I head into my own feed right now, which uh, shows my recent generations up here in the top left corner, you can see some of the patterns that I've generated without alchemy with the free version essentially of Leonardo. For example, this mountain pattern looks really nice. And also some of these ice cream and uh, cupcake patterns that are generated here, I think Look pretty decent too. We've got some Halloween themed ones with pumpkins. So it is definitely possible to create some really nice looking patterns with the free version of Leonardo. Sometimes you will get wonky results like I tried to to mess around with dogs right here, which uh, didn't go too well. I think animals are still a bit of a challenge for Leonardo, at least without alchemy turned on, but definitely big potential with some food items. Uh, floral patterns often look nice, and I've also tried things like palm trees right here, which can also get decent results. So you just have to mess around with it. To start off generating your pattern, head over to the AI image generation tool down here. And a quick and easy prompt that you can start off with is let's do a vector mountain pattern, vibrant colors. Obviously, you could change this part, you can make it pastel, you can make it muted, monochromatic, whatever you are after. In this style of kawaii cartoon, that just gives it a bit more of a digital art, sort of you know, cartoonish print on demand feel. After that, you can put highly detailed repeating pattern. That's just a very basic prompt that I messed around with for various different topics. And I'm also going to show you how to utilize some of the other prompts out there in a bit. But one thing that's important, you need to have tiling turned on down here. Um, if you want to have a seamless pattern and something that looks a lot more like a pattern. So make sure this is turned on. I do like to use 1024 pixels by 1024 right here for a square format. And a quick tip, if you're using uh, the free version of the Allado, you only have 150 tokens per day over here, which you kind of run out very quickly if you're testing various different prompts. So one way to uh, save tokens and sort of get more use out of them is just selecting one image at a time. That way you can experiment Experiment. If you get bad results, you haven't wasted many tokens. If you get really good results, then you can turn up the number of images to two, three or four at a time to get those really nice looking images more quickly. But to save tokens, I would start off with just one image at a time in case all of the images look terrible because it does sometimes happen, right? And you're not always going to get amazing results. That's the nature of AI. Let's actually go ahead and generate this pattern right here with the mountains. It usually just takes a few seconds. I've got Leonardo Diffusion selected dream shaper v7 sometimes gets decent results as well but uh, leonardo i think tends to look 
best. So this is quite a nice result for this mountain pattern, in my opinion. Um, you can mess around with different styles. You could try out Synthwave, you could try out Pixel Art, 90s Lo-Fi, and some other interesting keywords such as Polygon, Minimalistic, like many, many different ways you can adjust this prompt to get very different results. And you can also affect the color scheme quite a lot. So sometimes I like to add things like three colors only, that way, you know, you've got a more controlled color scheme. You could also enter the exact colors that you want. If you want something like pink, blue, and orange, for example, if you want very specific color schemes right here, you can control that or try and control the outcome a bit more in your prompt too. If you want to use a different prompt that you've saved right here in your liked feed, all you have to do is scroll through and then find the pattern design that you like a lot. Let's go with this flower one right here. You can hit remix to copy the prompt as well as the model and the different settings that were used for the outcome right here very quickly. You can change the dimension still to something square perhaps, that is what I would do at least. And then you've got the prompt right at the top. If you want to make any changes, you can hit generate to get similar results. Now that prompt I just copied, it did use Alchemy. So once again, if you're using the free version, the results might not be as good because Alchemy does definitely improve the quality a lot and the accuracy. But nevertheless, this is still a really nice looking outcome for a floral pattern, really nice colors as well. I can see this looking really nice if it's repeated on a product. So those are two ways for you to create designs. I will copy the prompts, well, I'll copy this base prompt right here down below in the description. This is a very a simple, basic, straightforward one. And I will also copy this flower one if you want to mess around with that. But go through the community feed, look at other people's prompts right there that you can use for inspiration, alter to your liking. And yeah, I hope you can get some good results with your prompt. Sometimes it takes a few attempts. Once you're happy with one of your results, what you have to do is click onto the image and then hit download down here. That's going to save a PNG file or a JPEG file, I should say, to your device that we're now going to upscale. In this case, I wouldn't recommend vectorizing because there it's often going to hurt the uh, tiling or seamless effect with patterns because uh, when it gets turned into a vector shape, yeah, it, it doesn't match up as well on the seam. So we're going to use a free upscaler next to increase the quality. So I'm going to be using Upscale for this, which is a totally free upscaler that you can download and install on your device. Another alternative to this, which is free, is dgb.lol. I will leave a link to both of these in the description. DGB actually runs online on someone else's machine, so that way, if your computer is not the best, um, that is a good alternative to Upscale right here. So first of all, all you have to do is click Select Image. That's the first step. And once you've selected the image from your device, you can select a model. In my case, I'm just going to go with general photo that usually gets really good results. The output folder will automatically be the same where your input file is. And then you can click upscale right here. You could also double upscale if you want really massive dimensions, but that takes very long. And it also creates very massive files terms of file size. So yeah, I think a single upscale is enough in most cases. And uh, yeah, just wait until that's finished. I also made a video tutorial that goes specifically into upscale that shows you how to batch upscale an entire folder of designs in one go. That is a massive time saver. So if you've got a lot of files to go through, I recommend you check out that video. As you can see right here on the left, we've got the old uh, low resolution image on the right it looks a lot sharper and way better for printing. So one option you've got for selling your pattern designs is through Printify. They connect you with some massive marketplaces such as Etsy and eBay, and I will leave a free sign up link to Printify in the description down below. And once you've signed up and logged in, you can head to the catalog tab right here and then type in all over print, which are the types of products where patterns work best. You've got many, many options. There is blankets, tote bags, we've got all over print t-shirts, which are usually quite expensive. I've sold a few of these in the past, but not too many. You can also sell uh, pillowcases. Phone cases are also a popular options for patterns. And you could do mugs as well. Mugs can definitely work with pattern designs as well. So once you've found a product that you're happy with, let's go with 
a pillowcase for this example, click on the product, then choose your production partner of choice. There's only one option right here, but if there's multiple ones, you can select them by the best rating, depending on the production time and the pricing, of course. Once you've found the desired one, click on Start Designing. Then drag and drop your upscale pattern onto this site. And now it's going to open up on the actual pillow editor. And first of all, on the right hand side, you can see a DPI number. That's quite important. So we want to try and get that to around 300 DPI. Ideally, you can scroll down a bit further where it says create pattern. That is important. So if you enable this, as you can see, the pattern is going to repeat seamlessly right here. And if we size this down a bit, as you can see, the DPI increases. So aim for about 300. And then one more thing you can do is you can scroll up where it says sizes right here, select more sizes for pillowcases. One thing to note with bigger sizes is that usually the print quality will be worse because we have a bigger print area. And a quick way to fix that is making a specific design for that different product size. So click this button and then adjust your pattern again, make it a bit smaller. So the DPI goes up on the right hand side You can do the same for 18 by 18 right here, adjust the sizing again to hit 300 DPI. And now for the other ones, we just need to slightly adjust it to have 16 by 16 and 14 by 14 looking right. So there we go. That is our pillowcases prepared. And then all you have to do is create the actual listing in the next step, select the mockups and you can publish this product to your Etsy store. Some other alternative platforms that you can check out for selling your pattern designs on, you can sell them on multiple sites at the same time, by the way, are TeePublic, Redbubble, Amazon Merch, if you can get into it, because there the potential is massive. Society6 patterns sell quite well, but the upload process takes a long time, so it only really makes sense with upload automation. But nevertheless, check out some of these sites. I will leave links to all of them in the description down below. And I also recently uploaded a video where I review 13 different print on demand websites. I show you the pros and the cons as well as the earning potential from my experience. So if you're unsure where to open your next store, then check that video out for some in-depth knowledge. I hope you enjoy this video. Leave a comment if you've still got a question and thanks a lot for watching. Whilst pattern designs can do really well for print on demand, from my experience, t-shirts can do even better. So if you want to learn how to create free AI t-shirt designs, make sure to check out this video next where I walk you through the entire process with Leonardo AI.